I've been working with video as a fine artist uh, for about 25 years. And uh, I grew up with television. I was in the first television, television generation, being a young kid in the 50s. And uh, television has always been a part of my life. And I think it was only natural when I reached uh, adulthood and went off to college to art school to study that even though I started studying painting, I ended up working with video cameras and monitors and uh, speakers and amplifiers. For me, that's a material that's very valid at the end of the 20th century. And it's only natural for artists to want to be drawn to such uh, media, which offer incredible creative possibilities. The piece that I'm showing here, um, which is untitled, um, came out of a very strong, vivid image that I had uh, um, of a man burning, basically. And um, uh, being an artist, you know, images come to me quite often. This one was quite strong. And I actually kind of kept it with me for a year or two and uh, was uh, pulling out an old notebook, saw uh, the, the writing about this man burning, and then uh, all of a sudden this fire, uh, this water uh, image came as well. And so it really came very uh, directly as an image. The most important part of the work is not the moment that you see it. The most important part of the work is when you're walking away from it, when you're going on with your life, and at a certain time later, one hour, one day, one week, one month, one year, ten years, an image comes back to you, a thought comes back to you, a feeling comes back to you that the work engendered and triggered. And that process, which is basically the process of passing on the creativity that's in the work, because creativity is not the property of artists alone. Um, that process is the most important part of uh, experiencing art, and that's the essence of what it is. It's what's within you later, what gets changed in you and opened up in you. That's the most important thing.